Welcome to the London Eurovision pre preview event 2017. With us now is the musical ambassador from Macedonia. It is Jana Bocheska who sings Dance Alone in semi-final two. Hello Jana, nice to meet you. How are you? Hello, hello JP. Nice to meet you too. I'm great. Very excited to be here. So the first time in London? First time ever. First time in my life. <laughs> well, uh, you are the musical ambassador to your country. How does it feel to represent your country at Eurovision? Um, it's... Uh, it's a great honor, but also a great uh, responsibility, so I need to watch my steps. <laughs> now, you were selected by Macedonian Television to represent uh, uh, um, your country at Eurovision. How does this come up? I have no idea how they made the decision. They just gave me a phone call. <laughs> that was it. I said yes, of course, because it's a rhetorical question. Like, mm -hmm. would you like to sing at the Eurovision Song Contest? What singer would say no? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you, you have to, to uh, think of when you go to Eurovision itself, there's millions of people that are watching it. Not scared a bit? I'm scared a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I must not show it. <laughs> so yeah. I just... You know, pretend I'm okay. <laughs> uh, you're really, really charming, fantastic guy. Thank you. Um, what are your expectations from taking part in this Eurovision Song Contest? Well, expectations. I mean, on a personal level, it's growing and improving me as a myself as a person. Uh, on a musical level, I'm getting the opportunity to make what I, what it, what used to be a hobby into a career. Okay. Yeah. Um, t let's talk about the song a little bit. It's called Dance Alone. Yes. Uh, yeah, what is it all about? What's the message in the song? The message. Well, you know, people are strange and the song kind of emphasizes the phenomena of uh, people insisting on dancing alone but always craving for someone else to dance with. Mm -hmm. That's how people are. Um, and on the other hand is about missing the opportunities we had in our youth due to recklessness or letting mm -hmm. it go wild. <laughs> One thing I read in your biography um, that you actually, and I'm, I'm from Germany and you speak oh, German. Yeah, uh, ich kann ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen. Yeah. Uh, one particular word that I, even I can't say. You can say that fluently, oh, it's, it's yeah. said in the Bible. Can you give us an example? Of course. Aufmerksamkeitsdefizit, Medikamenten, Beipackzettel. And do you know what, that, what it is, actually? <laughs> well, yeah, it's an instruction manual for a medicine that controls attention deficit. <laughs> So, so you speak a lot of German or, or just this little sentence? You, you know a lot more? Um, well, basic German, yes. Like, hi, how are you? I mean, I can go into a supermarket and buy food for myself. <laughs> and, and why do you speak German? Uh, well, uh, my uncle is married to a German lady and they live in Germany. So my cousins are basically born and raised in Germany. So I've been exposed to the language a lot. That's how I started picking it up. Picking it up and then... Uh, I wanted to apply for an internship in mm -hmm. Berlin uh, because I'm in law school and uh, I had to learn some German in oh, order to do so. Excellent. You're also working with UNICEF? Yes, I have done a project with UNICEF. It was back in 2011. It was a campaign for schools free of violence. Okay. Jana, there's a lot of other, other people want to interview yeah, you. Yeah, it's day. People are waiting. But a, a great thank time. You. Thank and you. Uh, all the best in Amsterdam next week and then we'll see you in Kiev at the Eurovision Song Contest. Oh, Semi-final two. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dankeschön. Auf Wiedersehen.